Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. Today, I got a real treat for you. When I say treat, I know that everybody's wanting to know how to build a brand. How do I kick ass with social media? Everybody knows the news is gone. Nobody's watching the news but your grandma anymore. Um, and she's probably sick of it too. So everybody's on social media. They wake up on a screen. They go to bed on a screen all day long. Uh, they're on it when they're at work. They're on it when they're at home. They're on it when they're at dinner. They're in it. They're on it when they're driving their car. That's it. I mean, I, that's not supposed to be good. They're just addicted to to it. So um, social media is a huge deal. I think it's super important. I got a good buddy of mine today. His name's Buck. Buck, I love you, bro. Thank you, bro. Love um, you we're brothers. Our families hang out. You know, our kids. We went. You know, just we've done some cool stuff, man. And we've been around at a lot of events together. I've been watching your growth for a very long time now. I mean, yeah, I've well, and your you growth explode. too. It's the same. Like we're just yeah. we're just doing big things, but we both have this big thing that we can contribute a lot of our success to right and it's the brand that's it and it's also social media if you get on social media and you don't and you don't know how to build a brand you're in big trouble mm -hmm. because you'll waste all of your time because it does take a lot of time that's right it takes a lot of energy and who wants to play a game when the scoreboard is zero at all times that's exactly it and i feel like a lot of people do that and they don't know how to build a brand so this this video i asked buck to Let's 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 talk about some value, and you know you do with some, you deal with some really big companies. Yeah. Um, so why don't you just start out? Number one, tell everybody who you are, right? Sure. sure. Which if they, if they don't know who you are, they'll know now. And then a little bit about kind of what you do. Yeah. And then let's just strategy the sucker up. Okay, I love it. Let's give some value. Today. Let's rip. So I'm Buck Wise, CEO of Closing Day Agency. We help professionals, owners, anybody that's a coach that's online. You're looking for more exposure, more awareness, more attention. You need more credibility. If you're not online, you're not going to get that. That's exactly what we do you meet a lot of agency owners Andy and they go you know we'll do funnels we do ads we do everything what do you need a website with your social media we got everything like we're like nope personal brand social media personal brand for coaches executives and owners that's it and yeah, I, I always ask people right yeah. remember the last time you were here do you remember the conversation we had I mean I remember yeah. everything yeah dude I remember everything we said when there are two questions you ask somebody when you're going to hire them yeah. or help you with your social media yeah. or to build your brand. What were those two questions? Number one question. What did you build? Yeah. Oh and, yeah. And then how did you build how it? How did you build it? Do yeah. you remember that? That's right. Yeah. Did you forgot? It's no, it's so true. Well, do you know everything. why I was, you know why I was confused because I was at your house where we were talking about growth when you were eating your bison meat in your oh, kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. So that was like, wait, that time or when I was here? Cause we've had a lot of conversations. Yeah, we have. And actually this. that was an hour phone call that we had on that time. Yes. So there's lots of, that was what a trick. What if you built? I got you. And then how and did, how you, did build you build it? it? Yeah. yeah. So guys, I want you to understand, um, Buck's built a massive ass business. Um, uh, he worked for Cardone. I know we're not supposed to get it, really get into your past a little bit sure. with, I mean, because it doesn't matter. Three to me. years. It matters yeah, what you're so, doing now. Yeah. You help blow his shit up. You help blow up what you did with him. You help do a lot of stuff. Now in your own company, you're doing it. You, you're just a winner. And you're. And, and so I always say, like, people say, well, well how did you build it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, first, what did you build first? You've yeah. built some really big stuff. So that's key important thing, number one. Yeah. If somebody's going to teach you something, don't ever use a social media company if their page isn't massive. Right. Or if they don't have customers that they can show you that are massive and those customers have given testimonies to say, this dude blew me up. That's right. Because that's all junk. I can testify this guy blows companies up. He blows individuals up because they're... It is the same. An individual, you most in most cases, has a company or has a motive that they want to do yeah. something down the road. That's right. In the coaching space or yeah. with their their business, yeah. they want to be an influencer, which is a leader. They yeah. want to open doors. Like I know people right now that have jobs and they're not making any money with their brand right now. Right. But they know that two or three years from now, their brand will open doors for them and give them options that they won't have. If they, and if they don't start their brand now, they're going to be screwed in two That's or three right. years. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, let's a, it's talk an a investment. Bit. Personal brand is a long term investment into your equity. It's interesting because people start businesses and they get the business card. And then they, you know, Andy Elliott's got the shirt. I want the I shirt. I got my LLC. And they, yeah, they buy the LLC. They got the shirt. They want the neon thing in the back. How much does this cost? You know, I'm, okay, boom. Yeah. But they put you get the dot com. Right. But they put no effort or investment into them, into their brand. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. Okay. Paid ads. Mm -hmm. Okay. Effective. Mm hmm. A brand, 50x effective. Yeah. Okay. If you go out and build a brand, if you do, yeah, you can run paid ads behind your brand, That's and right. people recognize you. And they go, "Oh, hey, that guy, I, I've recognized that before." And you get in front of more people. Yeah. But if you don't have a brand and you run paid ads, yeah, it's just it's spray and pay. It's transactional. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's earned equity, is what they call it. The longer you invest in your ability to storytell, 
which is what Andy's done. And you didn't do it overnight. You've been doing it for years. Yeah. He is his ability to tell a story concisely in a short manner through video is what has created your online brand mm -hmm. and created so much exposure and authority for you. Yeah, Russell Brunson was here um, like a month ago. I saw that he was wrestling with your guys. Yeah, we had wrestling mats for him. We were in singlets. Yeah. We were all wrestling him. <laughs> but wild. like, you know, like, but he, he kind of was the founder of like the brand or he was one of the people that really kind of got people into starting funnels and video mm -hmm. and, and, and sales landing pages and all this stuff. And he, he looked at my stuff and he goes, dude, I'm not even bullshitting. He goes, it would cost a normal person $2 million a month to get as many eyeballs and views as you're getting. He's not wrong. And, and they're also paying you to yeah. get those views. Yeah. He's like, dude, listen, man. He goes, building an organic brand, building your brand could be the gr will be the greatest thing that anyone has ever done in their life. Yeah, it, it, it's period. so true. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Dude, listen, if you don't build a brand, I'm going to tell you this, you're going to regret it. Yeah. You're, a, you're lucky to be alive in this era with this opportunity. Yeah. And the fact is, is that the social media part is free. For now. Yeah, yeah, but it's free. So if you have to spend yeah. 20000 a month to build your brand yeah. and the social media is free, okay, just give it a couple years. It'll cost you $20,000 That's right. just for the social media because everybody's hooked on it. And then you'll also have to pay to build your brand. Yeah. So you'd be a fool right now to True. not build it. Yeah, speed to market is key. So the sooner you start, the better. I think people are mostly afraid of, number one, someone who's not their customer. They're like, I'm afraid to put my face on this video and tell a story because, you know, my ex-girlfriend's going to make fun of me. My family members are going to say, what? Oh, Andy, you think you're an influencer now because you're out here with your phone walking around talking. Everybody's always afraid of the thing that's not going to drive their future. Mm -hmm. Everyone's always afraid of the thing that's not going to promote or catapult them to have more freedom in their life. And so that's the first thing I'm always focused on with an entrepreneur is like, why are you, if 90% of the internet is video storytelling, of all the traffic on the internet, 90% mm -hmm. is video storytelling, but you're afraid to put your face on camera. That's it, that's the number one. Oh, I hired a kid to do that, right? Because the kid is the leader of the organization and that's the brand that you're trying to portray. Everyone's trying to buy the excuses not to do it instead of investing in themselves and just creating stories, you know? Well, I'll tell you this, I had a coach who told me to get online. Yep. And, How many years ago was that, by the way? Uh, 2019. So that's what I'm saying. Um, but he just said, get online. Yeah. I didn't have a Facebook account. Yeah. I didn't have an Instagram account. I didn't have any account. I do listen. My first video, yeah, you my wife was it? like, hold the phone like this. Yeah. And I was like, can you leave the room? <laughs> that's it. Her. Yeah, because yeah. I like felt really stupid. Yeah. And I said 800 times in a row, hey, guys, it's Andy Elliott. I'm yes. like, turn that off. Yep. Hey, guys, it's Andy Elliott. I'm like, turn that off. And you know what I thought? This is so stupid. All I kept thinking about was me. Yeah. Watch. When you build social media, you're building it to live for something bigger than That's yourself right. yeah. because you know things that can help other people. That's it. I shifted my mind to think, there's someone on the other side of this camera. That's it. And if I can just connect with one of them, I can build one person in my audience, mm -hmm. in my future, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and so, and by the way, when I dropped that first video, Jackie was the only one that watched it. I had mm -hmm. one like, mm -hmm. and it was Jackie. That's always the case. Okay, yeah. and then it was another, and it was another, it was another, and then I started to get some haters. Mm -hmm. And then I remember going to Jackie, and she gave me the greatest advice. You want to give up? Were you like, I don't want to do this? Well, no, she just said, she goes, okay. She's like, they said that stuff. She goes, let me ask you a question. Do you want to be them? There yeah. was two questions. She oh, goes, do you want to be them? Yeah. And I said, no. And she goes, then why do you care what they think? Right. And I'm like, because I'm stupid. Whew. And she's like, stop being stupid. That's good. And then number two... Are you, are you going to let what they said stop you mm -hmm. from building this dream as, with us as a family? Mm -hmm. are, like, are you going to let this stop you? And I was like, no. No. So anybody right now, number one, are you going to let this stop you? Whatever they say. Yeah. No. And number two, are you going to take advice from somebody that you don't want to be or That's hasn't right. been where you want to be? That's and right. by the way, if you, if you look up to us, we run a nine-figure business. If you were to ask me, should I do it? Hey, do it now. Yeah. Do it now. Spend the money. Hey. And by the way, you said speed. Yeah. Write the check for speed. Right. Okay. 
listen, if I work for your organization, yeah. I would say, dude, you're going to spend five years. You're going to waste your time. You're going to make all these videos. Yep. You're going to pay for all these people to do stuff. You're going to upload stuff. You're going to post. You're going to do all these things. And in five years, you're going to be in the same place. Yep. You'll have missed the window, right. the tipping point that could have tipped you over into this badass life. Yep. You missed it. Now the next thing's in. Social media is out. Something else is here. Yep. And you met, yes, another opportunity to become wealthy. And all you had to do today was write the check for mm. speed. Mm. That's so it. true. I wrote the check for speed. I wrote the check for speed. I wrote a million dollars in checks for speed. And I will tell you, I 50 X my income by getting on social media and building my brand. Yeah. It's unreal. Your growth is crazy. I remember sitting at your kitchen table and you go, Buck, look at this, like no paid ads organic. Mm -hmm. And you were like, tomorrow I'll hit 700,000. Mm -hmm. And then I think it was less than three months. You went to a million. Like it's been insane. Your growth is insane. Yeah, it's Strong. it's cool, man. What 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 you'll do whenever you uh, you you have a coach. But you didn't do it overnight, which is the point I always make. People give up on on average no. ninety days in. No, you you need to make a three. If you're gonna get on social media and you want to kill it, if I was to do business with you, Buck, mm -hmm. I would make you make a contract for me. Mm -hmm. I would say, dude, I'm, you're not gonna coach me for a month. Yeah, I want a three year commitment. Right. And That's I want to know where you believe I could be in three months yeah. or in three years. I mean, yeah. I want to be here in three years and dude, three years. Isn't that, isn't that long? Yeah. I tell salespeople all the time, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, business people. I'm like, let me ask you a question. Could you give it all you got and empty the tank? Mm -hmm. Could you say no, go through a season saying no, no distraction, have boundaries on your life, make good decisions, audit your circle. Could you do it for three years? Mm -hmm. If you could do it for three years, you're going to make it. There's no question. I don't know anybody that's done it for three years who hasn't made it. You I could don't even, know anyone. You could even do it wrong for three years. And, and you'll make it. still have some success. You'll a make level, it. A level. A level. Dude. Not the level, but a level. Bro, but you'll get there. Yeah. I don't know how it happens, but it happens. Well, so let me ask you a question. So um, curious as you did it, I always call it muscle memory, right? So you went in the bedroom, you're like, this is stupid, mm -hmm. but you did it. And then you did it, and then you did it, and then you did it. When did you feel like, I, psh, no problem? Like, when were you comfortable with it? Well, how, long, how long did it take? Okay, me and you are sales guys. Yeah. So let's go back to when we sold, when we were on the floor, when we were, custom, when we were salespeople. Yeah. Remember the first time we had somebody come in and close our deal? Yep. And you remember how it felt embarrassing that someone else, it was very interesting. It was, it was amazing yeah. watching someone else close it. Mm -hmm. well, I thought it was amazing watching people good on camera, watching Ed Milet mm -hmm. tell a story. Mm -hmm. I was they like, pull the phone out and go. Yeah. I was like, dude, I know I can get there. Yeah. I just have to keep pulling my phone out. You got to get comfortable. I have to keep doing it. Yeah. And, um, and dude, I want to tell you like, that's how we sold. We got better. Yeah. I would watch the guy close and the guy said, like, guy says, well, I need to get back with you tomorrow. And then the guy said, well, anything that should be done today shouldn't be put off for tomorrow. Am I right, Buck? Right. Let's right. go ahead and wrap this up now. Yeah. And I'm like, and he shook his hand. <laughs> and I'm like, damn it. I'm like, I split my deal and that guy closed half my deal. Yeah. And he said three sentences. That's it. Yeah. And I'm like, what did he do differently to me? Yeah. Number one, his eyes, he believed. Mm. He was sold that what he was doing was good. Mm -hmm. And I see people on social media that they don't think they have any value. Dude, Dean Graciosi is one of my coach. He goes, dude, do you have something that you can teach? Mm -hmm. Do you have any value to bring to the world? Yeah. Yes. What is it? Yeah. Write it down. Right. What are you good at? Give me one thing. And I said, I'm good at sales. And he goes, shit, Andy, you got a thousand things to talk about with sales, right? Yeah. Dump it out. Yeah. Are you a good husband? Dump it out. Are you a good dad? Dump it out. Do you know the Bible? Are you close to God? Do you love people? Dump it out. Do you know fitness? Dump it out. He's like, in the beginning, you should talk about what you know the most because that's what you're most comfortable with. So true. And so me and you got good in sales when we were younger because we practiced these word tracks and these reps. Mm -hmm. Well, so like everybody should talk on social media about something that they're good at or right. that they like right. or a hobby yeah. or something just as a starting point to get started. Yeah. You know, don't it, it's start. True. Don't start with the, the hard shit. Start with what's easy to yeah. you. Everybody's studying algorithms. That's the number one question I get. I go to a conference. I speak. People come up. They say, Buck, should I do 15 stories a day or should I do two reels? I'm like, dude, you're, you're not even on the right track. Number one, consistency. You should just be showing up every day because I know you're going to give up in 90 days anyway. But then number two, after you get consistent, after you get comfortable, there are techniques. There are things of that course. you can do. And that's why you, know, you need someone to help you that's right. who sees. So a guy like you sees, I'm going to give an example, a thousand accounts being ran. Mm -hmm. You see a thousand accounts. Mm -hmm. You see some that fell, mm -hmm. some that win. Yep. 
You can watch the ones that win. You see what's happening. You get to see behind the screens of everything mm -hmm. so that when you're coaching anybody, you're saying, this is what's working, and you share it with the people that are losing because you're watching so many customers. It's true. Yeah, it's by volume. It's a cheat code. Yeah. Do you know what the number one mistake is that most people make when they say, damn it, Andy, you're right. What? I need to be on social. I'm going to start today. And Buck's right. I'm going to invest in this. They build this instead of just doing this. Oh, yeah. They buy all the equipment. My first two years were on this. That's it. That's all you need. Yeah, dude. Listen, I spent my money on coaching and use my phone. And That's most it. people go spend 20 grand in equipment and, and hire all the people. It. Yep. And they don't practice. They don't. Hey, by the way, nobody was there to record me. I recorded myself, which really yeah. what made me more comfortable yeah. was I'd have to pull my camera out and be yeah. in front of people. And people were like, he's That's... got his camera out. What's he doing? Dude. And I'm like, dude, hey, what's going on? And I'm. it was like I was building my courage to yep. build my business. There are three levels of courage in what I call organic, raw, evergreen, on-the-fly content. Mm -hmm. Number one, get used to yourself. Yep. Number two, do it in front of other people. Until you've done this walking in an airport, you don't know fear Yeah. because you look dumb when you first do it. I don't care. I tell people, check my bank account. I don't care who's staring at me in an airport. Yeah, right? and, by, and by the way, dude, like... That's not frowned on nowadays. No, it's normal. Like when somebody's <laughs> on their phone, like you don't know if they're FaceTiming somebody. You don't know. You don't know if they're making dude, no. that's just normal. Techno no. like you should really be able to fit in a little bit more now yeah. than ever because everybody's doing this. That's right. I mean, I see people all the time, they're talking to their wife, their kids, their husband, their boyfriend, that's their it, girlfriend, man. they're FaceTiming, they're they doing don't this. Know. They don't know. Um, you know, or what's happened. I mean, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, dude, like this is normal. This is everywhere. This yeah. is going around. This shouldn't freak anyone out anymore. Yeah. yeah, it shouldn't. But but having the courage though to carry it and pull it around. Wherever you are. If if you were ten grand a month, I would say, I'm gonna use my phone, I'm gonna pay you ten, I'm gonna learn how to do what you teach me to do it here um with with this thing. That's right. And dude, getting the reps in yeah. like we did as salespeople. Yeah. Get the reps in. Make a thousand videos. Yes. And I bet you'll be really good. hundred percent. Yeah. And so how fast can you get to a thousand? And then number three is pulling it out and being with someone else mm -hmm. because you learn your rhythm. But now I got to talk to Andy, which we just did, right? I was like, hey, you like your hat, Andy, right? Like, and I'm going over here and then I'm here and then I'm here. Mm -hmm. That's a whole nother awkward scenario because then Andy starts and then he stops and do I go back to me or do I? So that's the third, that's like the senior level. Like now you're talking to other, you know, yeah. you're at a restaurant, you're talking to a waiter and you're throwing the waiter in on it, you know? Yeah. That's, that's, that's real, uh, you know, that's, that's real personality when you Yeah, I love that shit. You're, well, you're good at it. You've been doing it a long time. Yeah, and I was you're a person that would never be good at that. But yeah. once again, once I, learned yeah. what era we were alive in yeah i mean wouldn't you be a fool like to know that we're in the era where people wake up on a screen and go to bed on a screen yeah and yet no one knows you so whatever product or service or thing or this or that that you have or you no one knows who you are and mm -hmm. they could get known come on man and, and plus let me tell you another reason why people need you buck yeah there's like i read this still there's like 3.8 billion accounts yeah. on social media that means almost half the world has a social media account true um kids have them yeah wives cut husbands high school people all over the world yeah. grandmas grandpas everyone has a social media account mm -hmm. dude there's so much just averageness going yeah. on yeah. that you have to stand out that is why facebook and instagram cuts your organic ability to grow at three percent what that means is when i make this video they're going to show it. If I have a thousand followers, they're going to show 3% of a thousand. They're going to show just that group. Mm -hmm. And if that group is like, eh, doesn't like it, doesn't comment, doesn't share, doesn't bookmark, Instagram goes, nope, I'm not showing that to anybody else. And so your first goal is to just surpass your inner circle of 3%. That's it. And, and, and to your point, the world can't do it. Mm -hmm. They can't get past the 3%. Nobody, mm -hmm. you do, you do every day, but, but, but you've earned it. Because once you do it once, Facebook and Instagram, they go, oh, this guy's good. So wait a minute. If I let more people see Andy's content, they stay on the platform longer, go ahead. We're going to show it to more people. Their whole thing is daily active users. Mm -hmm. How do we get people to stay on this app? And when we show Andy's content, they stay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to reward And if it's something it. that I think they'd like and they don't like it, 
it ditches out. That's it. And so, hey, so I want to say something. And this is a hack on yeah. how, like, you can think about maybe what might be negative, yeah. which is your haters, yeah. and actually see how they're really good for you. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, so social media. Yep. Um, I, have a, I have a lot of hate. Yeah. Um, everybody has a lot of hate. I was yeah. talking to Dean Graciosi yesterday. Spent he gets four a hours lot of hate, too. Dude, he goes... If you knew the amount of hate that Tony Robbins gets. Oh, wow. No way. Tony? Exactly. He's like a beloved brand. My point is, he goes, you you think that everybody wants this positive guy in the world telling everybody how great they can be and they can change their life? Makes them feel pressure about He themselves. goes, bro. He goes, people, people love Tony. Yeah. Or they hate him. Yeah. He goes, me? People love me. Or they hate me. Or you might have a past or a history. Yeah. Dude, when you get on social media, they're going to dig it all up. Yeah, that's right. But dude, listen to me. That ain't who you are anymore. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. But the point is, is that, um, so the comment, right? Mm -hmm. When you comment, mm -hmm. so the algorithm doesn't understand bad and good. Mm -hmm. it, it, Buck. Comment if, is a comment. Right. If I post something right now, right? Mm -hmm. And you share it and you go, this guy's a joke. Yeah. It just saw you shared it. Do so you like your haters? I, I love them. Matter of fact, I mean, like when I, you work for Grant, Grant said I wouldn't make it this far without him. Yeah, you, you know, gotta have them. Yeah, like, like, but I, I kind of didn't understand, like, because I was like, but I want everybody to like me. I don't want anybody to hate me. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's impossible. Yeah. Because if you bring good into this world, there's people that want to bring evil into that's it. so true. And if you're, if you love your wife and I hate mine, when you post that you love your wife, all I'm going to do is talk shit. Yeah. If you have a, I mean, if you love God mm -hmm. and I don't, and you say, oh, thank you, God, for saving my life. And that yeah. was your deal today. Yeah. I'll say, God ain't real. This is, it's bullshit. So true. But the algorithm doesn't understand that that is bad or good. They just understand there's engagement. That's so true. And so I want to tell you one of the things that I love is that everything is good. I don't delete bad content, mm -hmm. um, comments. I don't, a lot of people go through and they start deleting. They're like, oh my God, I don't want anyone to no, see that one. It. No, 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 no. That's juice. Let that shit cook yeah let it cook that's that's fuel yeah yeah let them heart it yeah let them reply to it yeah i believe it this guy is a scumbag no yeah. this guy isn't bad you have a shitty relationship with your wife that's why this guy said this yeah. no dude you're an idiot i can't believe you <laughs> why are you sticking up for this guy what, what does he do pay you to comment on his shit yeah, yeah. hey screw you man i'm gonna come beat your ass where you yeah Brrr, you fire him up and i'm just like let it let it spin yeah get it out there you got to man and dude i mean I posted a, ja a video of Jackie this morning, right? Yeah, it's cold plunging. Uh, well, that was on my stories. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, I've got some tricks. Uh, we're getting our stories up. We Here just we started go. a week ago. My okay. stories are running around 40,000 views. Damn. Stories. Nice. Stories. Organic. Stories. Yeah. Now, man, we're not talking about reels yeah, here. Up in the stories, yep. Up in the stories, right? And and in one week, I've started a new strategy. What is I've it? got my stories to two hundred thousand views from forty to two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. In one week. What's right, the listen. secret? What's the secret? Well, listen here. I'm gonna tell you something real quick, right? Okay, look. You're looking at this right now. There's yeah. my cold plunge this morning. Where's it at? Ninety six thousand. Come on, dog. Damn. It's three twenty four. What's the secret, Andy? I'll if tell you. When, I'll tell you when we're done because I know you're gonna want to sell it. If you're editing, this is a hook right here. Okay, I want you to grab this piece. Go ahead. <sighs> Well, do you want me to tell you? Tell me, man. Okay. What's the secret? Well, number one, it's not very complicated. It's actually pretty common sense. Okay. You let okay. them all run out? No, I don't okay. let anything run off. Okay. I kill them. Okay. Okay? Okay. Number one, every morning at 5 a.m., mm -hmm. every morning at okay. 5 a.m., we kill every story. Okay. Facebook, delete. Instagram. You delete the whole storyline. It's gone. Immediately when the storyline's deleted, mm -hmm. We upload how we start our day immediately. Buck, if you follow me, mm -hmm. I do. If you and you go to my page right now, mm -hmm. you're gonna see content that's super cool that I did eight months ago. Mm -hmm. It's still badass. It's mm -hmm. still cool. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna watch something from a year ago. Mm -hmm. You're gonna watch anything that my editors believe will bring value to my audience mm -hmm. today, and it's good shit. In stories. No, no, no. Oh, on my content posts, page. In the feed. Yeah. On okay. my reels. Okay. But I didn't do that today, Buck. Okay. Dude, you go watch any of the stuff. Like, I didn't do that today. I did it last week. I did it a month ago. I did it over there. What is the story? That's the way I'm living today. That's right. It's real time. Yeah, real time. Yeah. What do my audience want to see? What How I doing? live my life, real right time. Yeah. And so many people share all this shit. Hey, hey, share my thing about my event. Hey, share my deal. Hey, share my deal. Promote. Hey, share my deal. Yeah. Hey, share my deal. Dude, nobody's watching your shit because it's just blah. Yeah. It's junk. It's not interesting. Hold on. 
if I wanted to share something about an event, yeah. hook, yeah. hook them, yeah. and then put the event right after the hook. Yeah, well, you're adding value first. Okay, so at 5 a.m., okay. we literally, Sean meets me at my house yep. every morning, okay. me and my wife and anyone at my house that's with me that yeah. meets us there in the morning, start our day. We cold plunge. I've seen it. We all cold plunge together. Yeah. And then immediately after that, what do I do? Hot tub. Ha ha. Yeah, I've watched. So you see the pattern. Yeah. We cold plunge. Yeah. We hot tub. We drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Then we go to the gym. Mm -hmm. And then we come to work, sales meeting, mm -hmm. team, mm -hmm. productivity, podcast mm -hmm. through the day, yeah. whatever we're doing. I'm getting a glimpse. Dude, you're literally seeing how I live. You're yeah. seeing anybody I interact with that day, what's going on. And any time you want to know what I'm doing that day, go to my stories. That's great. And now my people are starting to see like, dude, that's what Andy hit. Do they know that if I hit legs today, they know if I hit chest, they know if I hit arms. Wow. Dude, they know who I hung out with. They know who was at my house. Yeah. I and by the way, listen, I do need to give shout outs to certain people at certain times yeah. about certain things that yeah. I do business with. Yeah. All those things hit after 5 p.m. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. So my stories build, 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 build. Everybody sees until 5 p.m. how I live. Yeah. And then at 5 p.m., hey, if you want to join me at this event yeah. or if you want to do that, this is an opportunity. I love you guys. Love Meet it. me there. So no promotion until 5. No promotion until 5 p.m. Show your life. Become Bro, relatable. That channel was built for our people, our audience, our yeah. people that love us. It's lifestyle. Give them I mean, if they follow you, they want to know what they do. Jocko Willings every morning, 355. Yeah. He shows a picture of his stopwatch. Yeah. People love seeing the stopwatch. Then they love seeing what's next. They so love true. seeing what's next. They so love true. seeing what's next. They love seeing. But, anyways, I, I just delete all my stories. Yeah. I stop sharing bull crap. I love it, man. But because somebody tags you in something. Yeah. Hey, you I read your book. Yeah. You know, and you're like, oh, that's cool. Let yeah. me share it's it. It's ingratiating. Yeah. yeah, and by the way, that's the way I thought. But the problem is, is that my audience that follows me, my audience, yeah. or in, in your audience, yeah. dude, our job is to give them value. Well, that's about us, not them. Right, but your job is to give them value. That's right. Not to share with them that Jan read your book. Yeah, exactly. It's ego-driven. It was ego-driven. Yeah. I was, all these people that were saying all these things about me, I'm like, oh, yeah, share, that's share, great. Share, let share, me share. let everybody know how great everyone says I am. <laughs> and then I was like... And then my story started to look like little dots, yeah. like little pieces of pepper. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I got the most stories. Too and I much. literally looked yeah. at my my deals and I'm like, oh, well, my first story never made it past 30,000. And my last mm -hmm. one's never made it past 2,000. Yeah, because once like, they drop off, they're done. They don't come back. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm like, I'm like, dude, is this what my people signed up for? Yeah. So anyway, so building your brand. Yes. Your stories on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, yeah. by the way. So, so Instagram, we got it up to 200,000. We're going to figure out how to get it to a million a day. Let's go. I know yeah. we are. I know you will. Okay. And we're, we're already doing it. It's going click, 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 click. Nice. And I'm figuring out how we put piece everything well, together. Uh, I will tell you, it's not just technique though. You're so intentional about your purpose. Yeah. And so the authenticity is where people lack. And that's the other thing I was going to tell you. If you get somebody to record you and you're not Andy Elliott, but you get like your crew to follow you around in the beginning when you're not Andy Elliott. You got to hold the phone and tell the story like I'm having a personal conversation with yeah. you. Otherwise, you're not authentic. The key is when you talk, people can feel it. They don't just hear it. They can feel that you care. They know your purpose. And I think that's why what you're doing, you can't teach everybody, Andy. I don't know that everybody can have the heart that you have. And it doesn't come through on social the way yours does. Well, I want to tell you something. So if you want, if and, I'll, and we'll kind of we'll kind of end with with this thing. Okay. Social media is an animal. It's a beautiful animal, mm -hmm. and if you want to get on social media, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to pay for coaching because you have to change. That's right. Um, if you're not the most pro popular person in your city right now, there's a good chance um, that you're gonna need some coaching. You're gonna need some training, and you're gonna mm -hmm. learn. You need to learn how to change. Well, yeah. The other thing is, you have a brand. The question is, who's in control of it? Because if people are going to talk shit about you and you're not online, they own your brand. Yeah. And you don't. Well, they own you. Yeah. Yeah. They own you. And, and I'll tell you, the, the best thing that I ever did, and I was scared to do it, was mm -hmm. spend money in coaching. Mm -hmm. Because when you tell people that I can, 
I c- you can pay me for this, mm-hmm. cut the check to me, and I'll teach you how to do something that you'll either never get done right. or could take you 10 years, then it won't work anymore. But we could do this in 90 days, six months, nine months, one year. Mm-hmm. This is where we could be. I'll show you your future. Mm-hmm. Just as if I was going to go take 100 grand to the bank, I'd want him to show me an amortization screen of what my money is going to do. Yeah. It, I, look, if I walked into the bank and somebody told me, you give me 100 grand, I'll give you back 400 grand tomorrow, mm-hmm. I would say, you're a liar. <laughs> Like, I don't believe that. Yeah. And so these companies that are like, sign up with us today and we'll have your brand blown by tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lie. They're buying followers. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. But yeah, that's a lie. But yeah. if they say, if you give me a hundred grand at the end of this year, you could have 130 grand. I'll get you 30%. Most is six, but I got this way. Mm-hmm. And if they could show me how to do it, that's how I do it. I would tell you this. So you have to change. Mm-hmm. And the, and the way that I needed to change, mm-hmm. which was my hardest thing was I wanted to build social media. I wanted to build a brand, but truthfully, if I was good enough to do it, I would have already had a brand. That's right. So running my own play didn't get me anything. So I went and found someone to help me run the play. And then that play, that new play gave me a new life, but I had to change. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole goal, like training and studying and paying someone to teach you. Like that's the greatest thing. So, um, I love that you're, uh, not the jack of all trades. No. You have decided that you've mastered, build your brand, build your social media. If you want massive exposure, if you want everybody to know who you are, what you do, how great you are, what you do and where you're at, if that's what you want people to know, then come see you. That's it. And then I'll blow your shit up and then someone else can do your websites, your funnels. That's and, right. And, and all that other jazz. I just want everyone to know who you are and I want you to build your brand. And I will tell you, the biggest mistake mm-hmm. anyone will make is not taking this conversation seriously and building their brand. I totally agree. Dude, when I, and I'll say this and, and, and then I'll let you finish because yeah. I want you to finish it out. Um, I, I, all the greatest influencers that I watched when I wanted to build my brand mm-hmm. are all now my good friends. That's it, man. Dude. You're going there, man. That's yeah, it. Yeah, but like. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that on the other side of this decision of spending and paying for this coach and mm-hmm. cutting the check for speed and all this, I didn't know that the people that made me want to build a brand because I wanted to change the world like they did or mm-hmm. get out there, that those people would actually end up being my friends one day, my good friends. How? Well, it's because you underestimate what's ha- what's possible. So everybody needs to realize what era we're in. Mm-hmm. And they need to understand that you know this is an era where a lot of people are doubting whether they can do this. Mm-hmm. And so how do you beat them? Well, winners live where quitters quit. That's right. So let everybody quit. Let everybody not believe this is possible. But if you want it, I'm here to tell you it is absolutely possible. You should be reaching out to the people who can help you get there. Mm -hmm. Cut the check, and then you'll look up in a few short years, and you'll be telling your story about how I never knew it was on the other side of this. I never knew that my life could do this. I never knew you could 50 extra income. Mm -hmm. Dude, if I told you that you could double your income, Mm -hmm. that's pretty exciting. Mm Mm-hmm. Dude, you guys don't know. That's the question. So they don't know. So anyways, but I'm going to tell you this. It's, it's a disservice to your customers. It's a disservice to your brand, yourself, your yeah. family, yeah. not building a brand. Okay. Yeah. And it's the greatest investment because it's yourself. Um, That's right. Finish it out. Something that somebody, somebody's thinking today, something you're thinking about. What, what do you want to? Yeah, I, I would say just to piggyback where you were going, because this is why we're friends, because we're headed to the same place and mm-hmm. we think the same way and we want the same values in life. You know, at the end of the day, people get too transactional with this. Okay, Andy said, I got to get a brand. I got to get more customers, right? No, you got to help more people. That's it. The more you can connect with more people, the more you grow. The more you grow others, the more you grow. So quit being so transactional. Too many entrepreneurs, they're just thinking about, like, I got to get more sales. No, you got to connect with more people. You need better leaders. You got to better recruit. Buck, my sales are, this is number one objection I get. Ready? Buck, I'm not dancing on TikTok, okay? My sales are through the roof. I've right never now. danced on TikTok either. Yeah, you don't one, you don't need to dance. Yeah, number but, two, but, it's not about sales. It's about connecting with more yeah, people. Yeah, can I say this? And I want you to finish finishing it out. Okay. But I had to interrupt you because I had somebody the other day, they told me, they go, man, I've given this six months now and mm-hmm. it's just not paying off. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe some people didn't know this about me, so let me say, say it. I That's went true. a year and a half without making any money while I built my brand. Mm-hmm. Um, had I not gone that year and a half, I wouldn't have 50 X my income because I wouldn't have built my brand. Um, so again, you can chase money or you can trace, chase relationships. Relationships are people and people pay the money. That's it. And like I said, in a world where everybody is so transactional, um, getting out there, even if somebody paid you 
not to make them money, but to show them how to build their brand for the next year and a half. Mm -hmm. And there was no financial gain. The financial gain, risk inversion, to invest up front mm -hmm. and it comes in on the backside. Mm -hmm. The backside is always there. It's that, yep. Dude, only right. only the people that are going to make it to the top are the people that can make it through that first year and a half. It, a real belief with system, a coach. real commitment. Mm -hmm. That's it. You yeah. got to believe in what you're doing and you got to stay committed to it. Yeah, and listen, hey, if you can't believe, maybe you can borrow some courage from me. If I wouldn't have done this, I would have still been selling cars. There you go, man. So it's huge. Thank God I made this decision. Let's no go. disrespect, car salesman. <laughs> but I really like my life right now. Anyways, yeah. Buck, we That's love good. you, bro. Thank you, Hey, man. how does everybody find you on social media if they're Listen, watching it? Instagram's my favorite place. Too many people are passive on social. Do you know the average customer will go two seconds? One, two, eh, one, two, eh, one, two. Like people are just like spinning around trying to feed their brains. Don't be so passive. Get on Instagram about Buck and introduce yourself with a video. Do a DM and say, hey, Buck, I just saw you on Andy's podcast. Man, it's really great to meet you. You inspired me. Mm -hmm. And guess what I do back? As much as I can, I go through every single one and I do a video back. That's my promise. If you say you saw me on Andy's podcast, I'm doing a video back to you. Come on. Let's go. Shit. Are you going to be naked? Maybe. How much kidding. you got? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, love you guys. Have a blessed day. I, now, I know that you guys know Buck now if you want to build a brand. Um, he's the dude. He's killing it. Anyways, have a blessed day, man. Buck, I appreciate you, Thank bro. Thank you, brother. All right, guys. See you next time. Let's kill it. Let's go. It's time to be the GOAT. It's time to enter God. Hey, guys. I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications. And then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. I feel my body on fire. Oh. Now it's game time. All the practice.